Focus friends are nervous. Mentally. Yes, man, you need to use your head. Hee 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 hee. I use it every day. <laughs> yes, so we're going to multiply binomials mentally using the dome piece. Yes, I said it, the dome piece. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to use my dome piece and do this mentally. All right, well, I don't know how to yet. So first, I'm going to have to make an observation. I'm going to do it the old school way. X times X is X squared. X times 3 is 3X. 4 times X is 4X is <laughs> 12. Oh, look at these middle terms. 3X plus 4X, that's a 7X. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. I think I see something. I think I see something. Look at this. X times X, get the first guy. Look at the last terms. 4 times 3, I got the last guy. And that's 7, I just added those. Weird! So I'm going to start doing this stuff mentally. We're going to think of a way to do this mentally. All right, um, there's a couple of some vocabulary here you need to know. This guy with the square is called the quadratic term. Quad comes from like Latin quadratum or something that's, uh, that means square, I think, or something like that. So look at that squared, pretty cool. Um, linear on a line, x, and the constant term, x squared, 7x, 12. Know those things. Here we go. All right, so let's do these things mentally. Um, we make an observation. What we end up finding is, um, let's make that observation here and bring it over to here. Uh, 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 here. Um, what we do is when I multiply this guy, right, ax times c, watch what happens. I get acx squared, okay? All right, cool. Then I do this. I get a dx. Here I get bcx. And at the end I get bd. And now I have like terms here, right, with respect to x, right, with respect to x. So I add the coefficients, ad plus bc. And notice what I get, all right? The first term always ends up being the product of the first terms. This times this is the first term. ax times that good. The last term, or the linear term, see the quadratic term is always this, the last term is always the product of the last guys, it's that middle bugger you got to watch out for. And that's when I sing my song, and I'm going to sing it for you. I'm going to sing it for you with this guy. Think of a rainbow, a rainbow, a rain, okay. Think of a rainbow. What do I mean? I mean, you got to do the insides and the outside terms mentally. You got to kind of do it in your head. You got to say, what are these guys times each other plus these guys? That's a frowning rainbow. I'll do a more sunshiny one. But these guys, that's BCX plus ADX. And that's what I get. BCX plus ADX. I add them up. And it'll make more sense when I do it here numerically. Okay? So we can find the first term easily. These two times each other is 6x squared. And we can find the last one easily mentally. 9 times 5. Well, that's 40 fizzle. Yeah, that's what I said. Fizzle. Now I have to think of a rainbow all over the paper. <laughs> all right. So here's my rainbow. I'm thinking of a rainbow. Here it is. A rainbow. A rainbow. Oh. <laughs> so I get 15x plus 18x. Oh man, big numbers. 15 plus 18. What is it? 33x. Okay, so there it is. Multiply the first terms, got the first term. Last terms are the last. I thought of a rainbow. <laughs> Alright, let's do another one. Here we go. Can you do it all the time? Heck yeah. And just double check, you know, make sure that they're like terms, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that the, these guys are like terms, yet both a squared, both x, and then you can think of a rainbow. <laughs> I mean, even when they're not like terms, you can, but you're not going to be able to add the middle terms. It's just, you might as well just do the old-fashioned double distribution. All right, so first term, 3a squared times a squared is 3a to the fourth. Last term, negative 4x times negative 3x is positive 12x squared. Middle term, I'm thinking of a rainbow. <laughs> They're both going to be xa squared, right? Yes. So I know for a fact it's going to be um, a squared x, okay? So now I'm just going to figure this out. 
12, negative 12, ne negative 4 and 3 is negative 12, negative 12, I'm going to do this in my head, and negative 3, negative 12 and negative 3, negative 15, I did it in my head because I'm a genius, a genius, a G. Not to be confused with gangsta, it's genius. All right, next one, here we go. All right, now I'm looking at this one here. I got some things going on here. I'm going to see why for, oh, these are not like terms here. But I can just, you know, still do it mentally. Um, first term is going to be this guy. Uh, I, you know what? These aren't like terms. I'm just going to do the old school. Y4, Y2, Y6, Y6, 2. And I go like this, y4 times 5 is plus 5y to the 4. And negative 3y, I get minus 6y, 4. Oh, look at that. How did that happen? My middle term. My rainbow ended up working again. And I go times this guy, negative 3, 15y squared. Now, let's see what happens. 2y squared minus 6y, sorry, minus 1y to the 4th. What a goober. And I'm not even going to write the one there. 1 to the 4th. Minus 15. Ooh, bonanza. 15y squared. Now, all right, let's see. How did that work out? Let me look at my rainbow. I got a y fourth term here. Look at that. I am in Kansas. All right. Cool. So let's see some other things. We do some multiplication mentally. Something's going to come up here that's going to help us in the next chapter, next section. All right, let's see. The first term here is x squared. Oh, yeah. The last term here is negative 9. And what's in the middle? 3x and negative 3x. That cancel out. That cancel out. I get x squared and 9, which is the same thing as x squared minus 3 squared. Take a note and moving on. All right, let's look at the first one here. Y times Y. What do I get? Y squared. The last term. Negative four. Ho, ho. Insides and outside. Negative two Y. Positive two Y. They cancel out. Again, I get Y squared minus four. The middle term's gone. What a boy. Where'd the middle term go? Notice something here and here and here and here, dude. Is it happening here? Is the same thing going on? We're gonna find out at the end of the song. Yeah, I'm a freestyle ballad guy. This is a ballad and I don't even know why. All right, anyway. So, let's see. Um, first term's gonna be x to the fourth. Um, last term's gonna be negative. 4y to the 6th power. Inside is going to be negative 2yx squared. Negative 2yx squared. I can't do this in my head. And the outside is going to be positive 2, oh, 2y cubed, sorry. 2y cubed x squared. And positive 2y cubed, positive 2y cubed x squared. Oh my goodness, that middle term cancels out too. I end up with x to the 4th minus 4, or y to the 6th, which is the same as x squared. Squared minus 2y3 squared. Look at this. It's a difference of two perfect squares. Something squared minus something squared. Over here, the same old thing. Something squared minus something squared. Something squared minus something squared. It's a difference of two squares. A difference of two squares. What's going to happen here? It's going to be a difference of two square. So, ready to watch. Watch what happens when I do it out, man. This is amazing. A times A is A squared. A times negative B is negative AB. A times B is positive AB. And B times B is negative B squared. These guys are gone. I get A squared minus B squared. When I do something plus something, then that same thing minus that something. I do the plus minus. Same terms. I get this. So can I unfactor this by looking at that? If this guy is this, what's this guy? Well, difference of two squared is going to be Q plus M. Q minus M, I'm a genius. Call the genius people. Here's another one. This is the same as 2x minus 5y cubed times 2x plus 5y cubed. Send me to the smart place.